Hi there, thanks for listening. And it's, there's really a lot to comment upon today with the situation in Europe and the attack it is under. It seems that the banks are Trojan horses, mediating the attacks of the hedge funds, and 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 people should start thinking about the hot money. What does it mean? And you could be, if you are really interested in economical theory, you should you should look into, or you could look into, what is the real value of fiat currency if it's fiat? Because I believe that you basically, if, if fiat currency can develop different uh, purchasing power in different sectors of the economy, and of course its purchasing power is extremely uh, determined by the location uh, of the holder. And therefore it should not be possible to have a million dollars appear suddenly in Malaysia and then a day later in Greece and then a day later in, uh, in, in, in France because it's not the same type of, uh, it doesn't represent the same value. And there's another thing of course, it is very much uh, a con game that the hedge funds play that is allowed by the facilita by, by facilitating by the, by, the, by the banks that move around all the cash very quickly. Uh, which is akin to uh, you know if you are with a group and you uh, a group of friends and you uh, and you kind of uh, want to target a rich person and you want to uh, make a deal with him but he has to think you're like a rich group of people then you can buy one Rolex and just you know uh, share it and every time someone goes to this rich person to cheat him out of his money he wears the Rolex that rich person will think okay well here's a rich group of people because they all have Rolexes. They all have uh, Oyster Day date uh, nice uh, watches, but of course there's only one, and it might even be borrowed. You know, if the banking system operates like that, you constantly have an enemy or an army against you. That's not real. That you should not really care about. It's just, uh, you know, if if you lean this way, I'll push on this side, and if you lean the other way, I'll push on the other side. But I have to keep running around, and the people that facilitate that running around are the banks. No, that's, I think that should be a, a real concern. Another thing I think is important is that 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 uh, that people are not activated as long as they have some comfort zone that they are they can reside in, and that comfort zone apparently consists of, uh, according to Jay Bernie One that I was talking about in the other video, uh, in Argentina at least, in in combination of having enough food to eat and having the soap operas you uh, you, you might want to watch. So that basically makes you think that it's what we need uh, is, is, our, is our emotional and, 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 and practical village to live in. And as long as the war is going on outside that village, it's really like fireworks, watching fireworks out of the window. It doesn't really matter. You have your television, you have your dinner, you can have your social uh, needs uh, uh, fed and rewarded. And, and you really don't, you, you're not aggressive enough to respond to anything that goes on outside. So as long as, as that can be given to you, you'll be uh, like cattle somewhere, very quietly. And it's ironic that, 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 that the virtual, uh, virtual world is extending to such an, uh, to in such a way, like the way that Max Kaiser talks about it, uh, the, the, the you know, Gulag Casino uh, welfare uh, state, or you know, where everybody's hooked on Farmville, and uh, you know, if you look out the window behind them, the world is basically uh, <laughs> turning into wasteland. Uh, it's, it's. I think you could almost say that it could be a strategy to kind of. But the prob problem is, of course, that food might run out, and it's quite sure that it will. Uh, at least as long as you keep it dependent on fossil fuels, and fossil fuels are going to run out. The money to buy it is, is, is going to run out. So food will run out because distribution will, will not work anymore. And there's no way, you know, if you if you would simply shut off uh, the, you know, if you simply make, it's almost, I was thinking of it uh, the other day, like you have the biblical uh, 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 rule that say you cannot make images of idols. And there's a lot to it. Uh, if you think about it, you know, people always frame that in the sense of you can't have fun and you can't have a picture of somebody and all that stuff. Uh, that's, 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 you know, and, and it kind of breaks 
uh, it kind of breaks the joy of, of life if you have to be in a but on the other side uh, places that, that, that adhere to that rule like the Alhambra in, uh, in, in, in Spain and all this, those Muslim places are pretty uh, amazing to look at and it, it, there's, there's some wisdom in there because you, you, you make sure that what people respond to and what people get used to and what people get dependent on is real just like you know you want to have a real economy you might want to have a real social uh, structure and not a virtual one and we are approaching a situation in which that is increasingly so and all and and that whole uh, you know the whole digital virtual uh, actors and actresses and the whole the imagery that's all available and everything that's online in a way uh, distracts us and endangers us because like in Argentina it, it, it prevents people from responding and fixing a real problem anyway I hope this video was uh, interesting to listen to and have a good day I hope it's as sunny as, uh, as it is here in Holland